OK, back with you as we track Hurricane Ian this morning. One thing you're going to hear from this guy over the next three days is the biggest threat from this storm is not the wind, but the water. Remember, you run from you hide from the wind, mm -hmm. you run from the water, water in the form of storm surge. That is what we're watching. So Greg, this animation here, explain what we're seeing. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Uh, a lot of times I get a question. Is it a wave? Is it like a tsunami? No surge is the ocean level rising. As the storm approaches, the storm is literally pushing the ocean out ahead of it. It's like sweeping the ocean like a in a giant little broom. It is in a little pile of water forms out ahead of the storm and it just moves in with the storm. So you just see the ocean level rise. And in this case, with this storm, we're expecting five to eight feet of ocean rise as the storm moves in. This is a map of Tampa Bay, a close up of Pinellas and Hillsborough County. All of these areas that are colored in, whether it's blue, yellow, orange, or red, are susceptible to storm surge. We are the most vulnerable area in Florida because of the number of people that live around the bay to storm surge. And I really want to get your attention if you live in eastern and southern Hillsborough County. Riverview, Brandon, Apollo Beach, Ruskin, you are at the coast. The bay is the ocean. I got that question on Facebook. How does the bay, how does surge impact the bay as, as it does the Gulf? The same way. The bay is the Gulf. It will rise the same amount. So if you live in an area that is in a surge area and you are told to evacuate, please follow those orders.